Caitlin and I are sitting in the back of the bus, and Jitsul.com sent us some questions about what it's like being on tour. So we're going to interview each other. So, okay, so here we go. Okay. Caitlin, you first. I'm laying down. Okay, so I have the this questions. This is my normal position. Uh, <laughs> here. So, Keaton, you and Arden are currently on tour together. What type of preparations did you take before heading out on this tour? Preparations? Oh, man, I have to, I have to completely readjust my diet, work out eight hours a day um, on my... No, I, I took uh, no actual preparations, although aside from promotional preparations, I made sure to kind of send messages out to all my friends around the country and, and fans all over the place uh, to let everybody know that I was going to be coming. But aside from that, um, nope, there were no real preparations made. Did a little rehearsing because we've got uh, Phil and Daniel, which is a new, new trio for myself and I know for, uh, for Arden as well. But aside from that, nothing. Just, just, I prefer to be on the road, so I have to make preparations to be at home. <laughs> all right, your turn. Okay. What is the next? Oh, Keaton's getting texted by a fan, I'm sure. I get many texts. See, I don't, I don't even know. Oh. I'm going to sit down. Do you want to lie down? You no, want to sit down? Okay, okay. Okay. This is adorable, What's the next by the question? way. Let me see. Should I answer um, the same question? I'll answer the same question. Do you want to? Okay. Um, preparations. Um, well, I'm such a girl, so I had a really hard time packing for this trip, as you probably saw in one of my other videos. I had everything out of my bed because we don't have that much room. So I had to take a really little suitcase and it was really hard not to just break everything I own because we're going to be out for like three and a half weeks. So that was a bit of a preparation. But yes, we're playing with all new, for me, all new musicians except for Zeev. So that was, you know, definitely sketchy until we got to Nashville and all started rehearsing together. I was a little bit going out of my head thinking, oh my god, are we going to get the songs right? Whatever. So uh, what other preparations? Um, I don't know. I, like Keaton, was working out every day. I was totally adjusting my diet so that I could get used to McDonald's and Bob's Big Boy, Flying J, all that kind of stuff. I have to get the system used to it. Um, but I think I'm doing okay. All right. Definitely. You're <laughs> definitely doing more than okay. All right. All right. Yeah, Next sorry, question. Ignore, ignore any, uh, <laughs> any, any texts, texts from girls? Okay. <laughs> Um, Curtis, you want to get in on this? No, he's watching Entourage. Okay. Curtis is doing something very important, watching Entourage. Um, what are the pros and cons of doing a tour like this versus playing one-off sporadic shows? Ah, well, um, you know, uh, doing a, a long tour, I think, has way more pros than cons. The only con I can think of is just kind of exhaustion, getting tired. Um, Driving three hours after midnight twice in a row. <laughs> yes, exactly. Being being tired, um, and yeah, having to kind of like haul haul ass. But aside from that, it really to, for me it's much better because you get into a rhythm, you get warmed up, and plus I like to play as much as I possibly can, not just for the love of it, which is is, is kind of the primary core of all of this for me, but also because the more I play the better I feel I am as a musician. And um, and so, you know, doing sporadic shows, it's like, you know, you, you can sit down and practice for six hours, 10 hours, 12 hours, whatever, but when you get up on stage, I mean, nobody does a show longer than, you know, I mean, at least I don't really do shows longer than like an hour, an hour and a half would be like tops, but usually my shows are about 45 minutes long. So that's not a lot of time unless you get them kind of uh, in, in sequence like that. So. It's my preference to do extended tours, uh, but it definitely gets tiring. I think Keaton is a road warrior. Thank you. I, I do. Appreciate that. No, I mean you're much more of a road warrior than I am. This is the longest that I will have been out. Usually, I'll go out for I think eight shows was the most that I've done before this tour, and I'm sort of the queen of the one-off, and I don't like it as much because what Keaton said is totally true. Mm. We're now going to be doing our fourth show tonight, and we have, what, 12 more to go or something? By the time we hit the 10th show, the 11th show, it's going to be so dialed in. We're going to be flying, and um, I'm really excited for that because that's not an experience that I've had before. Let's Absolutely. That's, that's you're you're so question. right. Um, I'm, I'm so glad that you're having that experience. Yeah, you know? me too. All right. Next question. Just ask you first? Sure. Because I haven't even asked, or, or did I? I don't know. Just no, I haven't. Okay. 
Did you have any expectations before the tour, and have they changed at this point? Expectations? Um, no, I, I really didn't. I described it. I was talking to my mom before I left, and I told her I felt like I was literally just driving up to the edge of a cliff and off it without even looking. Hmm. I really had no idea what I was getting myself into, other than, you know, just trying to be as prepared as I can to play shows. But um, my expectations really were just to be musically um, adventurous and to try not to get too much into a rut each show to try to do things a little different and now that we have you know all played together now for three nights I feel more comfortable kind of to try a, a few different things in fact I'm going to put Keaton on the spot right now and ask mm. him if he might play a guitar solo in my final song oh sure tonight, yeah um, Absolutely. And we do enjoy playing with each other. So I did I did hope that we would all get to play some songs together, and we are doing that. Um, uh, I think I expected more than anything just to kind of be totally exhausted. And I, I have to say that the exhaustion sets in, and you just end up flowing with it and finding places to nap backstage, to nap in the van. And I don't know. It's... Um, it's different than any other experience that you'll have if you're not a musician. I don't know when else you would be driving nine hours and then going to work. <laughs> because that's kind of what it feels like. You want to talk about that? Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, well, for me, it's, it's, it's tough because I've toured a bunch lately. The last couple of years I've been touring as much as I can. So I don't really have any, um, any expectations that aren't founded in you know, actual experience. But in general, I try not to have expectations at all because, um, first of all, you know, you never know what's going to happen until it happens. And secondly, things are more fun that way um, and a lot less disappointing, <laughs> potentially disappointing. So for me, I mean, I like uh, it, it, this tour is going amazingly well. I, I, I really, I thought it was going to go great and it's going great. So um, right now we're, we're in line. It's got plenty of room to go up. I don't see it going anywhere, anywhere We definitely uh, hit a stride, finally, for sure. Absolutely, but it already feels so good. Yeah. It's just like... It's, it's a really good crew. Everyone is... I have to say, like, were you worried? I mean, because we all kind of knew of each other before right. this tour, but we didn't all know each other. It wasn't like we were hanging out a lot. Right, no, that's true. So I'm sure you were probably like, I hope Arden is not weird. Yeah, um, well, no, I mean, I, I, never, I never think... Again, I don't. I don't try to, get, to have any expectations or any preconceived notions of anything. So I was definitely hoping that you'd be cool, and you are. So I'm glad you are. And Steve as well is super cool. We're hitting it off, and it's awesome. Everybody else, I this is like you know. We all know that they're homies. nuts, so it doesn't and they're matter. crazy. So yeah, exactly. I already know that I despise the rest of these guys. So thank God you're here. So, yeah. All right. I think that's a. A good little interview for today. Yeah. We'll do part two tomorrow and then we'll post. Um, so, peace out. We're on our way to play in Charlotte tonight. If you're in Charlotte, come check us out. Peace out. Hey.